Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I want to talk to you about the attack helicopter. Now the other day Matimio and I thought it would be fun to try and do an old attack helicopter double vision like we used to do back in Battlefield 3. We haven't really been able to do them in BF4 because of how bad the attack heli has been, but the recent patch has nerfed the AA tank and it has actually increased the attack helicopter in, in certain areas, so we figured now was as good a time as any to give it a try. And we failed so hard it was embarrassing. And it wasn't just to one thing. Generally it's easy to blame the anti-air tank, especially when it's crazy OP and can take you out from there spawn it seems to be a clear problem with the attack helicopter but I was thinking about it more and especially after our gaming session and by the way all of this footage was recorded in less than two hours but one of the main differences between BF4 and BF3 isn't so much that the attack helicopter is worse uh, it does take harder hits from missiles now which flip it and make it crash into the ground that wasn't actually fixed but the problem is that the threats the new threats to the attack helicopter have multiplied by about four we we now have a SRA, which is a guided rocket that doesn't require to be locked onto, so a good um, engineer can take out a helicopter and it will have no idea that there's an incoming missile. We now have anti-air mines, which are just newly released. We have the UCAV for the support class, which they can fly into your helicopter. You really have no warning that it's coming. Recons now have two sources to laze you from. They have the new PLD and they can use their SOFLAMs at the same time. Uh, we have active radar missiles, which are the bane of any helicopter's existence. Those are both on the new stealth jets and on the AA tank, and they are just horrible. They shouldn't have been put in this game. Uh, they just destroy choppers, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Transport helicopters weren't a threat back in Battlefield 3. A transport helicopter was just a fat target in BF3. In BF4, they are a serious threat. And Matimio posted a video of us flying around a transport heli and just taking out attack helicopter after attack helicopter after attack helicopter. When transport helicopters can easily beat attack helicopters in one-on-one -on -one combat, you know there's a serious balance issue there. Scout helicopters have become extremely good at air-to-air -air combat and it's very hard for a team of two in an attack helicopter to even take out a team of one in a scout heli, let alone a fully loaded scout heli running with stingers and whatnot. Main battle tanks now have a primary weapon that shoots extremely fast and makes it very easy to score direct hits on attack helicopters. I've taken out so many attack helis with my tank, uh, it's kind of ridiculous. I might have even taken out more helis in tanks than I have taken out tanks with helis. Although we haven't seen this a lot yet, in Naval Strike we're going to see a lot more fast attack craft and those have great anti-air capabilities. The AC-130 can now basically be on every single map and this thing is actually a really big nuisance to attack helicopters. Before you could fly up and sort of TV them and take them out, now it's very difficult for an attack heli to hit an AC-130 or at least spend the time to take it out and they can just pelt you from above and destroy you. There's also new super weapons laying around the map like epic rocket launchers that will lock on to you and if you flare against the lock on rockets they will just reacquire you. You don't actually have to uh, reload and fire another volley with the rocket launcher. You can just wait for the flares to run out, lock onto the chopper again, the rockets will turn around and take it out. There's literally no defending against it as a chopper pilot other than trying to get as low as possible and breaking the lock. And as if countermeasures from Battlefield 3 couldn't get any worse, they actually did in Battlefield 4. ECM is pretty much useless. Flare seems to work sometimes. I can't tell you how many times I flared and still gotten hit by whatever the heck is locking onto us. Oh, and in case you missed the TV missile bug where it blew up on your own helicopter, that's back with vengeance. The only difference now is that it doesn't kill you in one shot, but it takes you down to about 19 health, which disables your helicopter. And if you can survive from that nosedive, then you're probably going to get blown up by a tank or anything on the ground that's waiting for you. Hell, a machine gun on a Jeep will kill you at that point. And say there is a good attack helicopter team in the server and they're actually doing some damage, which is very difficult to do, I might add. Just get into a stealth jet or an attack jet. You don't even have to be a good pilot. You can either use active radar missiles or just give it a good old fashioned ram. Now generally speaking, when I find something grossly imbalanced in a Battlefield game, I usually like to rant on it, but then come up with a good solution for this. Unfortunately, there's just too many things working against the attack helicopter, from its own bugs to the overpoweredness of anti-air tanks to just about 
50 new threats in Battlefield 4 that can just take this thing out without any warning. So if you got your heart set on being an attack helicopter pilot, don't do it in Battlefield 4. You're going to end up breaking your headset, your keyboard, something. Go play some Battlefield 3. The game's not perfect. Attack helicopters aren't perfect in it, but they certainly involve a lot more skill. And you can actually put mechanics and strategy behind your piloting style rather than just waiting to get blown up randomly by any of the 50 things that can kill you. I'd love to hear your guys' comments on the situation. Do you have any ideas for how to fix the attack helicopters in BF4 or is it a lost cause? As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.